Something else that Figma does really well is sharing files. And we can share files in a lot of different ways as we've seen. And if I've got my travel app open here, if I come to the upper left corner, I'm in Figma, I'm signed in, come under file, you can save as Fig and share it with other people if you wanna do that. You can also export different content, which we'll talk about soon. Now, the other thing we can do is we can actually share with other people. That means that we could have a real-time collaboration if we wanted to, or for commenting or other purposes. If you come to the upper right here, you're gonna see we have share. So if you click on share with a file open, you're gonna see that you can share it with different people. So it doesn't have to be one person, it could be multiple people. Anyone with a link can actually do something like view it or edit it. You can also remove the link access. If you click on anyone with a link, it's gonna copy it to your clipboard. You can then email to someone if you wanna do that. Down here, you can see this is you. Here's where you can invite someone. I'm gonna invite somebody else. I'm gonna use an email address I've been using, and this is another Brian, it's me. And down here, you can also copy the link or do a public embed. The public embed is kind of cool. If you click on that, it's gonna give you an iframe code that you can copy and paste somewhere else, maybe like a blog or wherever, and it's gonna show up. So it's gonna show your file that you're working on. So I'll click cancel. Now you can tell the person that they can edit it or view it and invite them. So if you wanna try this out, you can enter somebody's email address that you know that you can access or that you know they'll email you back. Click invite and they're invited. You can see they're grayed out until they actually accept. Now let's take a look and see what the email looks like. This is the email that the other person received saying, Brian has invited you to edit this app or this file, and we're gonna open it in Figma. So the other person's gonna go and click on this and go in and start working on it after they've logged in. So I wanna show you that. Now I can't do it in this Chrome browser. I'm pretending to be a second person, so what I need to do is I need to actually copy this link address and go to another browser where I haven't logged in yet. So I'm gonna copy the link address and I'll go over to another browser. Okay, so I've just pasted it into another browser and you can see that it's coming in and opening the file. Now I can't really do much here. I can look at it and see a preview and you know stuff like that. If I come up here, you're gonna see, well, you gotta log in. So I could right now sign up with Google. I could create an account. We're signing up to create an account. I already have an account, so I'll click sign in. This is a free account. Now let's see if it works. Now that I'm in, I can see the file. So this is the one that was shared with me. Now I'm gonna go back to the owner of this, the admin, which was me. Okay, so here I am. I just came back and I can now see that this is no longer dimmed or grayed out. He has accepted the invite, he can edit it. And if I click away here, I can invite other people if I need to, but if I click away, you're gonna see now that I can actually see the person's cursor right there. So as you start to, if you both have the file open, I should say, and somebody can edit, they're gonna be able to do things like edit alongside of you. Up here, you're gonna see the users that are actually signed in and you can see who they are. Now, what I wanna do is this, I wanna show you both windows. I'm gonna split these. So I'll be back in just a second here. Okay, so I've got two people working on this now. On the left, I've got somebody, and on the right, I've got somebody. If you notice, this is me working on the file. You can see that I'm moving my cursor. Now, look over on the left over there. You're gonna see whoever is also looking at this file that is being shared with. Maybe it's the admin, maybe it's another person. They can actually see my cursor. So if I click on something and I go to move it or scale it or do something, Look what's gonna happen here. They're gonna see that in real time. So this is collaborative editing. This is actually pretty awesome. That way you can talk to people. You can do it via commenting a lot of different ways. You could be working over Slack. You could be doing all kinds of things, talking on the phone, I don't know. But as soon as I switch back over here, you're gonna see that now you notice my cursor from this side. That's because once again, I this is the admin on the left and on the right is the person that has been invited. So you can watch each other, you can collaborate, you can do all kinds of just amazing things to make it easier, smarter, and faster to work on your files in here. Now you will find that because Figma is saving things, so if we go in and we move something, it's gonna be saving for us doing the autosave. If two people do a change really close to each other on the same object, for instance, it's gonna try and keep the latest change, the latest update. And if we're going back and forth, I'm saying, oh, this person just moved this or just changed the color of this object or something like that. Let me go in and change the color, make it a little darker, a little lighter, something like that. And I made it the same exact color. You believe that? 
Okay, there we go. I'm gonna change the fill to a lighter color. There we go. Change both of them. Now, if we go in and we take a look, I'll show you. I'm gonna put it back to just the admin here to me. If I click to deselect, you're gonna see we can come up here and we can actually show the version history. If you look at the version history, you're gonna see we have a couple autosave versions. We have a couple things going on here, but it's still doing the autosave content, which is great between the two of you or three of you, or how many you have. Now, another thing I absolutely love is that if you come up to these circles up here, the people, this is me. So I'm on the admin right here. I can see that this other person right here has got his cursor out there. If I come out here and I actually click on this, I'm going to be observing this person. That means that they're sort of presenting to me. I guess that's what they want it to be like, which is kind of cool. So I'm observing this other person. And if I drag this over again to show you, just to give you an idea, if this other person moves around, you can see what's going to happen here. So now I'm not the admin anymore. I'm going in and looking at this. I can actually watch the other person go in and work and do things and see what's happening. That's pretty awesome. The little icons up top are actually really helpful to be able to tell who's in the file, who's doing what. You can see the circles out there. As you can see what I'm looking at now, that's me, and just everything that's happening. So I'm going to go back to editing here, click on that. And if the other person leaves the file, we can, you know, that's great. We won't see their cursor anymore. We can also come to share here and say that, you know, if I click on the arrow here, we can remove that person. They can only view it. And are you sure you want to remove them? I'll remove this other person. And there we go. They can only view it basically. So they can no longer do editing and different things like that. So being able to share your files in this way is just an extremely fast and easy way to be able to collaborate, to work together on your design files. Now, another way to be able to collaborate or to gather feedback is to work with commenting. And that's what we're going to take a look at next.